friend of the van community scored a big role in the latest episode of Hawaii Five O, and we're going to talk about that today. Often on my YouTube channel and many other RV Nomad van channels, people talk about work-life balance and they talk about making money. And today there's kind of a nexus of all of that going on in today's episode because I'm going to be talking about Al, Al808. And um, he's the fellow who actually scored a nice decent role in last Friday's Hawaii Five-O episode. I believe that was uh, episode 20, season 9. And I did have a tip off from Al that he was going to be on there, but I thought he might get a you know a small roll, 20, 30 seconds or something. But it was several minutes long, so we're going to take a look at that and uh, review his performance because I think he did a pretty good job. Now I can't put too much of it on, or I'll get a copyright strike. You know what I'm saying? So I can only review it. And if you want to watch the entire episode, you can probably stream it live somewhere online. And of course, it will be rerun since it's only been shown once. As for Alley to wait, he owns a Road Trek 190 and he hails from Hawaii. He's actually been on my channel when I was in Oahu last January. Here's a picture of me and him at Explore Steve and RV Crazy at the Maui Brewery. And actually, Al, what a class act, actually bought lunch for all of us. Great guy. Thanks again, Al. So you're asking, what does this have to do with van life? Some guy with a van just scored a roll on Hawaii 5 0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guess what? <laughs> if you know anything about film and movie production, having a place to crash after a long day's shoot is very important. In fact, I knew a member of the local union here in Vancouver, and one of his biggest concerns and gripes was the long commutes to a shoot location, then doing 16 hours and having a very long drive to go back home. Owning a van or an RV eliminates that hassle, if you catch my drift. And secondly, it's always fun to see a Vanner score a nice Hollywood role. And for those of you who do live in the Hawaiian Islands, you will know Al because Al is famous in Hawaii. And he's also on a cable show called The Pet Huey. And he is the pet detective. Now getting back to last Friday's role that Al had, it's fun to see somebody that was in the original series also in the remake of the series. Al was even in the biggest show on Magnum P.I., which was the Frank Sinatra episode. I believe it had the highest viewing audience in the entire series. So let's see a few snippets of Al in action. And just to set up the scene, Al is playing a store clerk in Hawaii. My oh, man. Oh, sorry, let me start. Do you have anything um, like substantial to eat in this place? Yeah, right over there. Right here? Yeah. Interesting. I don't know what that is. It's been moose to be. Sorry, can't even say that. You have anything that comes from a cow, maybe? <laughs> yeah, try the freezer. We have some White Castle there. Give me the cash! Now! So what do you think of his performance? Hey, if you want to catch the entire performance, I suggest you stream it live somewhere because I ain't getting a copyright strike for this. So if you're a vanner or an RVer, why not make a little extra money and get involved in the Hollywood scene? There are productions all over the place. The New York area, of course, Los Angeles, Hollywood North here in Vancouver, and of course, Toronto. And I'm telling you, having a van or an RV nearby when you're doing a remote shoot is a blessing. And I think that's something that the van and RV community should consider because it just makes sense. So in the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out. Fancy meeting you here. My, what a big nose you have. What do you got to say for yourself?